Call of Duty Advanced Warfare truly looks like a game that could bring some amazing storytelling to the franchise. The Atlas Corp play a very important role in the upcoming campaign. My name is Stally111 and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and their leader. The Atlas Corporation is a private military corporation founded and led by Jonathan Irons and is the largest such group in the world. The Atlas Corporation became well known as the first to act after devastating and catastrophic events and set things right. They entered Baghdad after the Second Gulf War and did more in three years to repair the city than what the government could do in 50. With freedom to act without governmental or congressional approval, the corporation quickly built itself up using its immense funds and fast results. It became the first such corporation to be admitted into the United Nations Security Council. They created the most advanced armour combat vehicle on the planet and are the largest and most profitable privately owned corporation. The company has achieved a higher approval rating than any US president in history and was the recipient of the 2051 Technological Innovation Award for Advancements in Biogenics. The company had many successes in its creations, here are just a few. VTOLs, which are going to make an appearance as a killstreak in multiplayer, along with some short appearances in the campaign. They are fairly similar to the ones that appear in Black Ops 2, but we have seen them use a new cloaking ability. The Sniper Drone, which is a drone that's supposedly set to kill opponents in one hit. It will appear in the Manhunt mission in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. The Spider Tank is a four-legged tank with one big gun on the top and a smaller chain gun to get rid of the riffraff. These titans appear in the missions, inductions and biolab. The BAL-27 or BAL-27 is a bullpup assault rifle. Similarly to the P90, the BAL-27 features a top down loaded magazine that feeds rounds into the receiver. The BAL-27 also has a unique trait of the fire rate increasing over time which could be pretty efficient at taking down multiple enemies at once especially in multiplayer. The exosuit or skeleton, which is a big part of the Advanced Warfare's gameplay, the exoskeleton is capable of increasing many of the player's physical abilities, allowing for increased movement and speed, as well as tactical purposes. The exoskeleton changes gameplay heavily, allowing for a wide variety of options as to how missions are completed, as well as general physical freedom within the game world. These exoskeletons do add a lot of verticality to maps within multiplayer, so that's obviously going to be a boost for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare compared to other Call of Duties. There are many different abilities for the exoskeletons, which I may talk about in another video, along with some other equipment that the Atlas Corp have made. If this interests you, please do tell me in the comments below. So, who leads this famous corporation? Jonathan Irons, played by Kevin Spacey, is the founder and president of the Atlas Corporation and a main character in the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. After the death of his son, Will Irons, he has become obsessed with power and vengeance against anyone who he blames or anyone who stands in his way, including the governments that hired his company. Small spoiler here, but... Will, his son, appears in the mission induction and sadly dies at the end in a sort of sacrificial attempt when he plants a bomb on a gunship but his arm gets trapped and pushes you, the playable character, away to safety. Atlas was named a saviour among first and third world nations but we shall see if they're really saviours when we actually play the game. Thanks for watching and remember to tell me what to cover next. If you want me to go further into Atlas's creations and the exosuits, do tell me in the comments below. My name is Stanley111 and make sure to drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. See you guys next time. What are you doing? We don't kiss ghosts!